Welcome to the demonstration of Profold Plus being used to cover a hardcover book which has no dust jacket. First, lay out the profold on the table as shown. Now, lay the book on the profold, leaving about 4 centimeters on each side. Roll the book over to get the full length of the required profold. Using a good pair of scissors, cut the required length as so. Now we need to check that the correct side is facing upwards. The side with the short leg, as shown, must be on the upper side of the profile. Now we are ready to cut the spine section out of the profile. Put the book spine in the center of the profile section and mark with a pen or score with a fingernail or scissors just on either side of the spine and along the top. Lay the book flat and again mark along the top edges of the book. Once this is done, we're right to start cutting. Use your scissors to cut out a section of both top and bottom layers to the marking of the height of the book. Now lifting the top flap, cut just below the mark indicating the height of the book all the way along the top layer. Do not cut the bottom layer. Now cut along the markings indicating the section of the spine that needs to be cut away. Finish by cutting this spine strip entirely away at the bottom edge. Like so. Now we are ready to cover the book. Place the spine against the strip cut out before. Lay one flap down and bring the profile up, followed by removing the self-adhesive strip from the top edge of the profile and bringing it over so that it contacts the bottom flap and sticks down. Turn the book around and repeat the process on the other side. It's important that it's reasonably tight, but not excessively so. It should lay fairly flat against both sides of the cover. Now cut this top section of overhang off the profile. And each corner should be cut away on an angle, which will allow us to fold the cover into the book so that it doesn't stick out and it protects the edge. Be careful, of course, not to cut the book in this process. To finish our covering, you can either tape the entire double layer down using a strip of tape across that section there, or the best way to do it, I found, is to cut off the inside flap of the profile, just within the margins of the book, and you can either fold this underneath the inside layer of profile and tuck it away like so. The other way you can do this is again cutting the inside strip away being careful not to damage the book You may then lift a section of the double-sided adhesive, fold the flap in and press it down. You can also use a double-sided tape. And that's the book covered. As you can see, all the top, front and bottom edges are protected, and the whole book is protected very well against damage and handling damage. The inside flaps are also visible, they're not covered at all, and no adhesive touches the book anywhere. Thank you for watching.